Um, you know what? Um, let's get going, shall we? Let's see what what will come your way. Um, oh yeah, and this um, this deck I ne I never read reversals with this deck. I'm cold like this. I don't know why. We do have the Six of Swords and the Two of Wands, making a choice for your own peace of mind. Um, oh, I love this, right? Six of Swords, walking away from a situation, making the choice to walk away. Five of Pentacles, we walk away from rejection. Well, that's the Five of Pentacles, right? Somebody left you out in a cold and we finally have some peace of mind over it. Three of Pentacles. Some partnership probably that went fully wrong. Somebody you have built something in the past with them and they might have walked away. Six of Swords. The Emperor. Might be an Aries in your life. And they are walking away or you are walk walking away from them. And the Seven of Wands. Walking away and blocking. Now let's see, or maybe they did, and um, now we are dealing with this, let's see. So bottom of the deck for the overall energy this week. Let's see what this is. And we do have the High Priestess, the Taurus energy. This is about commitment and marriage. Ten of Pentacles, again another energy of marriage, so we are in trouble. Somebody's getting married this week. And we do have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, the Capricorn, and we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So somebody, oh, this is amazing. Um, Libra, this is amazing because, well, Six of Pentacles is the energy of generosity and kindness. Um, we do have the Ace of Pentacles, so let me take you out for a coffee kind of energy. And somebody wants to have a stable commitment with your Libra. Um, I mean, King of Pentacles, you cannot have somebody longing more for um, everyday life, house, home, you know, the kids and the dog kind of energy. And then we have this, and probably it's, it's, um, we are talking somebody you know, because Six of Pentacles is the energy of reciprocation. Somebody you had a commitment to, they might be coming um, around again. Um... Or somebody you've been married to, because you do have this energy of marriage twice. Marriage and stability, so it looks good. We could stop the reading here, I mean, right? Well, we got what we wanted as the overall energy, so why bother with the rest, you know? Oh, I'm funny, I know. Yeah, sometimes I laugh at my own jokes. I'm my own public, you know? <laughs> Anyways, so past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's see also what they have to say for themselves. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. Ouch. No, this is my hand. No, no sign from the universe. Just my tired hands today. And let's see the um, possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, we have the devil, for the love of God. When, when we have something good, the devil shows up. Um, Capricorn energy, for some of you, actually, king of um, pentacles can be um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and we do have the king of wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Libra, we might have two kings over here. We do have the Tower, the King of Wands, and the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Oh, you are so in trouble. And the Queen of Wands, somebody feels sorry. Five of Cups, somebody has regrets over what happened. But let's not dig deeper. Let's stay with this. And we'll see. Honestly, I'm going to clarify. I don't do that usually because we, uh, if I clarify, I have to go, you know, kind of overboard. And, um, but if we, um, if we need to, I promise we're going to clarify, okay? So let's see. Now the person, well, in the past, right? Uh, you in the past, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. We um, have the, the um, in love readings, the single card, right? So at some point... Um, Somebody said goodbye and then we had to deal with our, our own independence and we do have the moon, maybe a Pisces. 
Uh, we do have Taurus actually. We had the Devil, Capricorn. We have the Taurus twice, Capricorn twice, and um, can be a Virgo. You have a lot of Earth, but now we have we do have the Moon. So honestly, I feel these are more your emotions that are Pisces, but um, because it's um, it's the energy of feeling alone and lost. Um, that is the uh, combination of energies, right? The Nine of Pentacles with the Moon. Um, is really the energy of now what, you know, um, kind of, um, and it is the energy of working on your, um, independence, staying on your own two feet. That's the nine of pentacles, right? I'm going to do everything for myself. This is getting back on your feet. And this is also, um, defying odds is the energy of defying gods. And it's the energy I don't need anybody. Um, it's also the energy of, you know, I, um, I don't need somebody to complete me, right? I stand by my own, right? That's the energy. And if you remember the traditional tarot, the person stands in a very kind of, um, abundant garden. It's like, you know, this is me and, um, this is my work kind of energy. And then we have the moon. And we know it's about emotions. We know it's about, for some of you, depression, anxiety. This is the energy of feeling lost, being lost, actually. It is the dark night of the soul. Um, but with the combination of cards is the overcoming all this in the past. So probably for some of you, it's been a while. Um, and uh, right with the moon, it was a hell of a journey. Now, um, Libra, the person you are dealing with, and really, we have a lot of kings over here, so I don't know whose energy I'm picking up. We do have the king of pentacles, we saw the king of wands on the bottom of the deck, now we have the king of cups. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and uh, we have Pisces twice, it's interesting. Um, Taurus twice and um, Capricorn twice. So, I'm just saying, for some of you, whichever sign um, resonates. Um... King of Cups, um, six of uh, six of Wands. You know how it feels like? It feels like somebody having emotions for you, but way too prideful to admit it, right? Six of Wands is the energy of I'm the warrior, I won, look at me, you know, it's me, 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 me. And it's um, somebody being acclaimed, being in public eye, you know, um, seen by people and, you know, walking quite cocky. I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, but having emotions, right? King of Cups, we know it's, um, it's somebody who's um, emotional, expresses emotions. Um, he has a big cup of love, actually, for his queen. Um, but again, right? Coming from a place of pride, coming from a place of... Um, um, I would say believing that they are above the rest. That's the six of uh, one's energy. Um... And mutual energies, of course, two of swords and the eight of cups. That was a decision. We know two is for decisions and the eight of cups. So somebody made a decision to walk away and then because it's mutual, it impacted both of you and somebody said, said goodbye or not. Um, it's interesting because this combination of, we know two of swords is also the energy of confusion, the energy of being blindfolded and yet having to make a decision. So it's interesting, one made a decision and walked away and the other person had no choice but to make a decision. That's energy. And um, it's also, right, coming from two different places in terms of um, energies. On on your side, Libra, we have this um, emotions combined with practicality. On their side is emotions combined with a lot of pride, right? I simply love this Libra for you and I know you're going to resonate with this. We do have the justice, which is you for the current energies and the six of pentacles. Um, it does look like a place of balance, right? This is, well, first of all, this is uh, you being yourself and ba uh, justice is about balance, is about decisions, final decisions actually. Um, and it's about being in your own energy. And standing tall, right? It's the energy of having things going in your favor, right? It's justice and karma. And we have the six of pentacles. And this is the justice in minor arcana. So what better confirmation that we are good? And I'm so happy to pick up on that energy, uh, Libra. So, you know, we deserve this. And I'm sure you went through a lot. 
and it's kind of right for um, um, sun sign in Libra, right? Um, having the moon, it's um, quite intense, I would say, right? And out of the comfort zone, whatever happens. So now we are, you know, just to see our own energy. And even if it's in pentacles energy, which speak, um, speak of practicality and, um, you know, everyday life and doing whatever you need to do. And, and also is the energy of kindness. So justice, yeah, we have a sword in one, in one hand because we still have a fight to fight. Um, in a sense that probably is not over just yet, but we see, we, we see in a place of balance, right? That's the six of pentacles, place of balance and kindness, um, <clears throat> a place of reciprocity and, and, and a place of making decisions of your own. Um, and it's beautiful to see. Um, now the person you are dealing with, Libra, they are in the ten of swords energy. They might uh, feel betrayed, they might be sick, um, they might be, you know, uh, we have the COVID running free out there, so maybe uh, we have them. But in the Two of Pentacles energy, somebody here is trying to handle the situation, trying to keep everything in balance. Two of Pentacles is the energy of work, and combined with the Ten of Swords, there might be uh, overworked, overwhelmed. Maybe your independence is hurting them for some of you. Maybe it's their own life hurting them, but they are trying, you, you know, to be um, practical about that's a two of pentacles energy and also making decisions. Um, and ten of swords is the energy of ending. So something is um, about to end for them, for them, right? There is no eleven of swords. So they are ending the cycle and they are managing or handling um, this. Now, the energy between the two of you, we do have the Ace of Swords right now, so might be communication happening. Um, this is the energy of ideas. This is the energy of clarity of the mind, uh, clarity of belief. We know where we go. We have a plan. And the Two of Wands, energy of crossroads. So both of you being at crossroads and um, having more a pretty clear idea um, where we want to go with this, you know? Um, beautiful energy. I love this. I don't love the Ten of Swords on their side because somebody is suffering. So, um, and in the same time, trying to keep it together. That's a Two of Pentacles. So whichever side you resonate, of course, some choices. We have to make some choices over here with um, the energy of Crossroads. And actually many choices have, um, have been made with the Two of Swords. Um, Ace of Swords is a decision, Justice is a decision, Two of Wands is a, it is a decision. So I believe kind of a, a you know, a follow-up decision that need, um, needs to happen right now. Uh, but we are getting there. I mean, Justice and Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords is cutting all the BS and the Justice in itself is the energy of, I don't have time for this, you know. Um, so I, I believe somebody becomes more clear of what we want, right? Well, moving on is going to be a hell of a fight, right, Libra? We keep the fight going. We do have the Five of Swords on your side, and we do have the Magician. Um, speaks of taking control, speaks of finding solutions, having all the tools, being confident. This is the energy of alignment, as above, so below. However, the universe has a plan for you, and you, you get connected and you make it happen or you allow it to happen, right? It's the core construction and it's the law of attraction, by the way. But let's, um, you know, keep in mind the Five of Swords energy. We might be in the uh, warrior mode, maybe in April and some food for thought. I mean, not every um, fight worth picking up on. Um, but I'm comforted for you that we do have the magician, right? This is the manifestation. Again, the clarity of the mind, knowing where we're going, making some magic. Why not? Right. Um, and together kind of tell, um, you know, both cards tell me um, that we are doing the good fight or we are fighting the good fight. Right. I mean, the magician and the five of swords. Right. Um, oh, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> Because the person you are dealing with, uh, Libra, they have the magician too. So it's like both of you wanting to make magic. 
and this energy is also combined with the emperor this is taking control having a plan this is being determined getting organized to make magic happen um like all the ducks in a row you know oh i love this expression but anyways all that to say um it's like you want to make things happen and they want to make things happen you know with a magician um it's a whole world of right determination and um and smarts wits and smarts as i like to call them mutual energies between the two of you can i can i say how much i hate the seven of pentacles but you we do get libra the seven of pentacles this is the energy of patience this is the energy of harvest and we have you right in the middle of it queen of swords right this is being smart about divine timing this is being smart about uh, patience and choices and the harvest time and when it's time to um to have what we want and when it's not the time to have what we want um and we are in manifestation time by the way we are in um, making magic happen but it's again at the stage right uh, the magician is number one it's right after the fall right after the new beginning um oh isn't it amazing i wonder why you feel like fighting it's interesting because their energy libra is the energy of the emperor which is aries energy by the way maybe you are dealing with an aries um and we have somebody like on horse and on your side it's like you know what i have five swords and god forbid you know i'm ready to fight so i don't know exactly what fight you're having here i i'm seeing no reason actually to fight unless you want to fight for this connection and uh, manifestation in itself it's a fight you know um depending on your type of manifestation your type of right um how you deal with this and it's there are so many approaches by the way um you know so maybe for some of you this really involves like fighting and um in a sense of the four of pentacles kind of fighting right holding on to and keeping um the connection tight so for some of you can be that for um but um oh my god this is a beautiful reading libra because you do have ten of pentacles somebody wants to offer that stability and i don't know how you deal with traditional commitment because we do have the higher front over here and i know libra is very loyal and committed and long term and it's actually the higher front kind of energy in terms of love and emotions and um and relationships i mean meaningful relationships not um you know a couple of adolescent like erections <laughs> like i call them i know i'm having fun i hope i'm not gonna be banned for this one anyways so i'm just saying um so that is that and we do love stability of course right libra um and you have a lot of pentacles here in terms of and because it's a love reading it has nothing to do with money right so i'm just saying and it has you have twice the six of pentacles which is your energy and you have your own energy so this reading has your energy all over and the, and the queen of swords uh we are only dealing with we don't have pages we don't have knights we have kings and we have queens so and we have the emperor and the magician twice i mean you know this does look like a beautiful week and you'll have to come back and and um you know i want to hear the story by the way um so libra let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to do and of course you have to use your better judgment but let's see what we need to surrender to and let's see if we have to run the opposite direction of trouble what in the world surrender your belief in scarcity libra this has something to do with money maybe that's why you get all the pentacles in the world it's like are you kidding me so the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams so yep you know maybe that's why you get the magician a couple of times well i love this one surrender to complete healing libra Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. We are in trouble. We are not done healing here, Libra. 
We do have surrender obsessive thinking. Now you're in trouble. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to the spirit. Doing so will help you bring the clarity and even solve the problem. And bottom of the deck, we do have surrender negative thinking. So you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmation. So we do have twice the card of thinking and I know Libra is the energy of thinking and reasoning. So I'm just saying maybe the mind is the enemy here, Libra. This is how I'm picking up on this on this um, guidance for you, right? You ha Actually, it's complete healing of the mind because you have negative thinking and obsessive thinking. So we need to heal that. Focus on that, right? Change your focus, actually. This is what I'm hearing. And surrender your belief in scarcity. I don't know, maybe you think you you don't have enough or you are not enough. And we know the magician is all about self-esteem and reminding, um, you know, yourself that you are a magical human being. That's the magician. And now we have the hangman. We need to change perspectives, right? So it's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, the pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Yeah, kind of you are special, right, right Libra? Well, the universe is reminding you that, or at least the message you get today. Uh, at the end, you need to hear um, also. So Libra, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to wash your hands and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.